Well, for Alex Bowman, he advances, but first let's take care of the health issue. We saw you get out of the car immediately, fall to the ground. Are you okay? And uh, what did they do to you in the infield care center here? Uh, yeah, I was really sick Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, Saturday. Felt a little better today, but just really behind on being hydrated and um, just kind of exhausted. So uh, was tired. Everything was real tingly, so just uh, not a great feeling inside a race car, but um, got some fluids and uh, definitely feeling better. We'll be, we'll be good to go in Dover. Glad to see you're okay. All right, now congratulations. But to make your way into the next round, you had to drive from 32nd to second today. A, how did you do that gun, get that done after, you know, the, fir the first lap in that incident? And then B, how tough were the final laps, Alex, knowing you didn't feel well? Yeah, um, I mean, man, probably lap 10 in the race. I was I was pretty done and, and out of it just uh, from a physical standpoint. So I uh, just tried to keep digging. Obviously, I tried to give it away on, on lap one. As soon as I touched the brake pedal, it just started wheel hopping and turned around on me. So um, apologize to those that, uh, that got kind of collected in that. I feel like I hurt myself more than anybody on that one. But um, glad we were able to rebound, and the guys obviously gave me a really strong car to come back through the field. Um, there at the end, just cautions were, were rough. Under green kind of is what it is. You're, you're doing your job. But under caution, when you actually have time to, to think about how you feel, it's, it's not much fun. Did the red flag make it worse? Oh, yeah, for sure. And I saw them coming with water to all the guys behind me, and I was out of water in the car. Um, and they didn't get to me. They got like four cars behind me and then they started rolling and I was like, dang it, man, I could have used that water. But, um, man, it's just part of it. I feel like, um, uh, you know, I've been doing a, a pretty good job on the physical side of things this year with a lot of help from, from Josh Wise and, um, leaning on Jimmy Johnson a lot. But, um, when you're sick, it just gets to you. That's all the good stuff. Now the tough part of this race, the, the incident with Bubba Wallace, walk us through what happened. It seemed like it had been going on for a while. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if he was mad about the first lap or what, but obviously that was just a mistake. And then I got flipped off for uh, every every single straightaway on the entire racetrack for three laps. And um, I got flipped off by him for like three or four laps in a row at Richmond. Uh, so I'm just over it. And you decided to take action on your own? I just uh, I got to stand up for myself at some point, right? Um, probably wouldn't have got wrecked if he had his finger back in the car, but um, just uh, proud, of, proud of our guys today. And... Um, you know, just really focus on, on moving forward and being good this weekend. This is now back-to-back -back weeks. You had the Austin Dillon incident last week and then Bubba Wallace this week. Is there a concern about that moving forward as a playoff driver? Nah, I mean, we just got to focus on uh, on going and, and running well. Obviously, Dover, we finished second in the spring, so our race car is going to be really strong there, and we just got to go capitalize on that. You mentioned all the racetracks in this round coming up. They finished second at every race in the spring on those tracks. So, Dale, a good round coming up for Alex Bowman. Yeah, looking forward. He's certainly looking forward. To it. What a drive by this young man. You know, I, I, I was a little disappointed in the first lap thing uh, because he had a car that he had no time on whatsoever, and he tried to make something happen too soon. I thought he was throwing any chance he might have away. But on the other side of that, I, I saw things from Alex Bowman today that I didn't know he had. A toughness that he had, a mental toughness that he had, and, and, and a desire to succeed. That you, you know they all have that desire, but he showed me exactly what he's made of there today. And, and that's good to see. And as you said, with these tracks coming up, uh, he performs at a high level. Yeah, and, and listen, I thought, I thought coming back from everything that we had, it seemed like he was the highlight reel when we yeah. first started today. Um, at the same time, I'm going to be a little critical here. If you wreck everybody that flips you off, there's going to be a <laughs> lot of cautions out there, dude. That's just part of the game. Get a little bit thicker skin. That's part of the game. What people say to you, what goes on in there. Uh, Buddy Baker used to could get his arm all the way out the window, man. You were sure to see some. So, but, I mean, he said, I took him out because that's what happened. That's the game. That is the game right now, and that's the way we play. We've heard Daniel Suarez say it. We've heard Ryan Newman say it. You've got to fight for every position, and you've got to appreciate that he fought for that position. I don't like the reason he fought for it, but you got to appreciate that part of it.